It's Thursday, February 29th, and from WBHM News, I'm Richard Banks with today's top stories. Activists rally in Montgomery to urge lawmakers to find some way to restore in vitro fertilization services in the state. About 200 patients, doctors, and other supporters gathered at the Alabama State House yesterday. The rally follows a state Supreme Court ruling that frozen embryos have many of the same rights as children, causing several IVF providers in Alabama to pause services. Alabama lawmakers are currently considering two bills that would give lawsuit protections to clinics or state that a human embryo outside of a uterus is not considered an unborn child. University of Alabama students and faculty protest in support of diversity, equity, and inclusion programs. The gathering yesterday follows the introduction of legislation that would prohibit funding of DEI offices at government institutions, including state agencies, public schools, and colleges. Among other limits, the bill would also ban those institutions from sponsoring DEI programs or any program that advocates for what many conservatives consider a divisive concept. After a contentious public hearing and debate, the bill passed the state Senate last week in a vote along party lines with Republicans supporting the measure. The bill is now being considered by the House. And a revision of a state loan program primarily designed to help Birmingham Southern College remain open will now go before the full Alabama Senate. The bill, sponsored by Jabba Wagner of Vestavia Hills, was approved yesterday in committee. The revision of the program follows the state treasurer denying a loan to BSC last year, citing concerns about the school's collateral. Some senators expressed concerns about the revision, saying the measure effectively requires the state to give loans to any distressed institution in the state. However, supporters note the bill would require a bank registered in Alabama to sign off that collateral held by the college is sufficient to secure the loan. You'll find more news anytime at WBHM.org and Happy Leap Day.